boy, 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 let me tell you guys, there are things in life that you just don't know that you need until you get it, okay? And a crossover beef between Nicki Minaj and Joy Reid is what I need in my life right now, okay? Because we have Nicki Minaj calling out Joy Reid as a homophobe and an anti-vaxxer, right? Because Joy Reid came at Nicki Minaj over some fake news that the mainstream media ran about Nicki Minaj and her vaccination status slash her feelings about the vaccine, okay? Now, before I get into this, guys, just like any video I do, I'm talking about the mask, I'm talking about the vaccine, I'm talking about the pandemic, the virus, whatever. I'm not making any claims whatsoever about the mask, the vaccine, the virus, the pandemic. I'm not making any claims whatsoever, right? If you have any questions about the mask, the vaccines, the pandemic, the virus, please consult your doctor. Please consult your medical professional. This is purely about drama and public policy, okay? That's what it's about. Drama and public policy. I'm not making any claims. Now, how do we get here, guys? How do we get to Nicki Minaj, right, who's a rapper, calling out uh, Joy Reid um, for who she is, which is a fake fraud and a phony, right? How do we get to this point? Well, it all started with this tweet. Well, not this tweet. A tweet before this that went mega viral, okay? It had over 100,000 retweets, right? 100,000 likes that I can't show and I'm not going to read it. I'm just going to uh, try to summarize it because I'm not trying to get accused of making any claims. Um, in which Nicki Minaj basically uh, gives an anecdotal story about how somebody that she knows had a certain experience with the vaccine. Again, I'm not making any claims whatsoever. I'm just telling you what she said, okay? And she ultimately says, hey, you know, I, I know that this happened, um, but, you know, do your own research, right? Do your own research, you know, make what decision is best for you. Do you, right? That's essentially what she says. And then she follows up uh, that tweet with this. They want you to get vaccinated for the Met. If I get vaccinated, it won't be for the Met. It'll be once I feel I've done enough research. I'm working on that now. In the meantime, my loves, be safe. Wear the mask with two strings that grips your head and face, not that loose one. Okay, so Nicki Minaj, what she's saying here is pretty reasonable and very benign in my opinion, right? She's basically saying, yeah, I'm going to get vaccinated eventually. It's just that I want to take time and, you know, do my own research and, and, and figure out how I feel about it. And we have no idea what that research entails, guys. We don't know. She could be talking to her doctor about it. But again, you know, I'm going to get into this, but there are people that are making fun of her saying that, oh, what do you mean? You're just going to go watch some YouTube videos, right? You you don't trust the, the clinical studies and all that stuff. It's like, no, that's not what she's saying, okay? She just says she needs to do her own research. What that means, we don't know. It's something that she could actively be talking to her doctor about right now, right? And she says that, you know, in the meantime, I'm going to wear my mask. You know, everybody be safe. You know, she's saying all the right things right and she's being responsible okay she's being responsible but obviously it's like i tell you guys when it comes to the left if you don't agree with what they want right and what they want you to do specifically 100 percent, if you don't do it then they come after you right they come after you as you can see here uh hassan abi the champagne socialist right that lives in a multi-million dollar um mansion in hollywood uh responds to Nicki minaj and says the world awaits your wonderful contribution to the scientific community basically mocking her right mocking her for her own personal health decisions right mocking her for it and it's not just him the mainstream media as well also ran with a ton of slanderous misleading headlines about what Nicki minaj actually said okay in order to make it seem like Nicki minaj was pushing uh vaccine misinformation uh and she's basically an anti-vaxxer right that's what the mainstream media did right now again guys i only can show the most benign headlines because you know i'm not trying to get accused of anything okay but essentially the most slanderous headlines had to do with what her anecdotal story about somebody else's experience with the vaccine okay so joy reed right didn't do her research she went with what the mainstream media was saying about what Nicki Minaj said, didn't actually look into the whole context of it, in which she essentially falsely accuses Nicki Minaj of encouraging the black community and her fans to not protect themselves from the virus. Take a look. 
And people like Nicki Minaj, I have to say this. You have a platform, sister, that is 22 million followers. Okay, I have 2 million followers. You have 22 million followers on Twitter. For you to use your platform to encourage our community to not protect themselves and save their lives, my God, sister, you could do better than that. You got that platform. It's, it's a blessing. It's a blessing that you got that, that people listen to you. And they listen to you more than they listen to me. For you to use your platform to put people in the position of dying from a disease they don't have to die from, oh my God, as a fan, as a hip hop fan, as somebody who was your fan, I'm so sad that you did that. So sad that you did that, sister. Oh my God. All right, guys, so you see that, you heard that, right? Joy Reid is essentially saying that um, Nicki Minaj is essentially uh, encouraging people not to protect themselves from the virus, right? But Nicki Minaj, again, I just showed you guys a tweet where she encouraged people to wear masks, right, to protect themselves, okay? And she said she'd get vaccinated eventually. In that series of tweets, she also talked about how there's a lot of countries that won't allow people to work without getting the vaccine. She says, I definitely recommend they get the vaccine. They have to feed their families. I'm sure I'll be vaccinated as well because I have to go on tour, <laughs> right? So before Joy Reid even went and did this segment, um, she did not do any research on what Nicki Minaj actually said, right? Did no research whatsoever, but went on TV and slandered the woman as an anti-vaxxer and basically accused her of putting her fans and her community in danger just because the mainstream liberal media said it. And Nicki Minaj, rightfully so, claps back at Joy Reid and says, quote, this is what happens when you're so thirsty to down another black woman. True, definitely. <laughs> they love downing black people that don't agree with them, right? They love it. Joy Reid and the crew, that's so pro-black. And to there's a black person that's not pimping the liberal narrative, right? Uh, by the request of the white man, which is also true, that you didn't bother to read all my tweets. My God, sister, do better. Imagine your dumb ass on TV a minute after a tweet is spread a false narrative about a black woman. Ding, 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 ding. Nikki, Nikki. I could have said it better myself. I could have said it better myself. Joy Reid went out here and spread a false narrative about Nicki Minaj because the mainstream liberal media said it, right? That's, that's literally the reason why. She also goes on to say, the two white men sitting there nodding their heads because this uncle uh tamiana doing the work child outside <laughs> bruh it's true it's so true her liberal handlers you know a, a lot of whom happen to be white at msnbc aka msdnc um say jump and joy reed says how high okay that's what she does and how we know this guys because like Nicki minaj rightfully pointed out Joy Reid used to be an anti-vaxxer, okay? As she says, a lying, homophobic, <laughs> C-word, I can't say the word, right? I guess I can join in on the rain gear, their games too, right? People can go on TV and lie on me. I can report on them too, right? Doesn't have to be truths. It can be half-truths. Uncle Tamiana <laughs> asked, who on earth would trust the US FDA, guys? And then she pulls the receipts of Joy Reid, basically sowing anti-vax misinformation right about the vaccines when trump was in office okay i've done a video about this joy reed when trump was in office went out there and spread misinformation about the vaccine because it was convenient for the democrat party right because the democrats didn't want to give trump a win when it came to his handling of the virus so joy reed went out there and basically told people that, hey, I don't know if I can trust these vaccines under Trump. I don't even know if I can trust the FDA, right? Now that her daddy, Joe Biden's in office, all of a sudden that narrative has changed. All of a sudden she's missed, oh, I'm so pro-vax, you know? I'm, I'm so responsible. I'm just trying to keep people safe. So why were you spreading this information last year? Why were you saying this last year? Because nothing's changed, right? The vaccines that were being developed under Trump they're the same vaccines that we have now. Exact same companies. Again, it's because her liberal handlers told her to do it. She's a puppet, guys. She's a pawn. And she's not the only one that was doing this, guys. All of mainstream liberal media, along with the Democrat Party, right, including Joe and Kamala Harris, were all, every single last one of them, 
trying to make people mistrust the vaccines simply because it was being done under Trump. Okay? They did it for political gain. That's what they did. And do you guys believe for a second that if Trump was still in office, they wouldn't be doing the same thing right now? I guarantee you they would be. I guarantee you. So people like Joy Reid have no room to be trying to lecture anybody in regards to how they feel about the vaccine and making their own personal health uh, choices. Because it is very clear that her opinion on this subject matter is purely dependent on what the Democrat narrative is at the time, right? She does and says whatever the Democrat party needs her to say. That's what she does. It is very clear that's how this thing works. So people like Joy Reid have no room whatsoever to lecture anybody about how they supposed to feel about the vaccine when we know that she doesn't have a real opinion, okay? We know that. And I'm so happy to see somebody like Nicki Minaj call out Joy Reid for the fake fraudulent phony that she is because that's what she is. She's a phony. As a matter of fact, I want to see the whole Democrat establishment, right, including Joe, Kamala, the mainstream liberal media, they all need to be called out about this. Because like I told you guys, they all were happy to go out there and to uh, push distrust in science for political gain. And they're, they're the ones sitting here boohoo crying and complaining, trying to divide society and make us hate each other over people's personal health choices. People got to wake up to this stuff, man. People got to wake up to what's going on. So I'm extremely happy to see people like Nicki Minaj call out Joy Reid for pushing fake narratives like this, okay? And for the phoniness and the fakeness. We just need more of this being directed at the Democrat establishment as a whole. Because they should be called out about this. But let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.